Amidst the ancient sands of time, in the vast fertile plains between the Indus and the Ganges, there unfolded one of humanity's earliest and grandest civilizations. The civilization of ancient India, a world steeped in mystique and rich with wonders waiting to be unraveled. Welcome to an epic journey through time, a journey into the heart of a civilization that shaped not only the Indian subcontinent, but the world as we know it. Our journey begins over 5,000 years ago, in the ancient cradle of civilization, the Indus Valley. The story of the Indus Valley is shrouded in mystery. Its discovery in the 1920s unveiled a sophisticated urban society whose knowledge and practices were far ahead of their time. The twin cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were marvels of urban planning, with a layout that reveals a deep understanding of town planning and civil engineering. Their buildings were made of baked bricks and they had complex covered drainage systems. What's even more fascinating is that each house had its own bathing area and the city had a great bath, probably used for ritualistic purposes. Agriculture thrived in this fertile river valley. They cultivated wheat, barley, peas and cotton. In fact, they were among the first to produce cotton. Yet this civilization remains enigmatic. Their script, found on seals and pottery, is still undeciphered. We don't even know what they called themselves. Interestingly, no evidence of a ruling monarchy or a centralized political structure has been found. It seems they believed in an egalitarian society, another concept far ahead of its time. Their culture was rich and vibrant. They crafted beautiful pottery, jewelry and toys. They even had a system of weights and measures, indicating a well-developed trade system. Despite their achievements, the people of the Indus Valley left us with mysteries. Around 1900 BCE, this advanced civilization started to decline. The reasons behind this are still not fully understood. From changes in the river course to invasion theories, we can only speculate. Though it vanished, the Indus Valley civilization left an indelible mark on the Indian subcontinent. It laid the groundwork for future Indian civilizations and still fascinates scholars today. As we peel back the layers of time, the stories of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro continue to inspire awe and wonder. As the Indus Valley civilization faded into the mists of history, a new age dawned, an age that would sow the seeds of Indian philosophy, spirituality and culture. Welcome to the Vedic Age. The Vedic Age, named after the Vedas, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism, was a period that saw the composition of these hymns, chants and rituals. But beyond the spiritual, the Vedas also reveal glimpses of the societal, political and economic life of the period. A society primarily pastoral but gradually transitioning towards settled agriculture. Unknown to many, the Vedic seers weren't just spiritual philosophers. They also had an intricate understanding of the cosmos. Their astronomical observations were so accurate, they could predict celestial events like eclipses. One of the little-known wonders of this age is the Sulba Sutras, texts that laid down the rules for altar construction. These contain geometric principles and approximation of square roots, predating Pythagoras by centuries. In the political sphere, the Vedic people practiced a form of proto-democracy. The Sabha, a kind of council, and the Samiti, a general assembly, were forums where people, particularly the nobles and the warriors, had a say in governance. These participatory institutions highlight a system of governance far ahead of its time. The Vedic period was a transformative era. The spiritual, philosophical and societal foundations laid during this time continue to influence Indian society. Its echoes can be felt in the music, in the rituals and in the philosophical underpinnings of present-day India. From the vast cosmos to the intimate spiritual journey, from the evolution of societal norms to the birth of democratic thought, the Vedic age was a period of profound growth and introspection, an era that truly shaped the soul of the Indian subcontinent. After the dawning of wisdom in the Vedic age came the era of mighty empires. Two stand out for their significant impact on Indian history and the world, the Mauryan and the Gupta empires. The Mauryan empire founded by Chandragupta Maurya was a spectacle of grandeur and strength. This empire spanned from present day Afghanistan in the west to Bangladesh in the east, making it one of the world's largest empires of its time. Chandragupta Maurya's reign was marked by political strength and a well-organized administrative system. Interestingly, they had a dedicated department for espionage, 
reflecting their shrewdness in maintaining control. But it was his grandson, Ashoka, who left an indelible mark on history. After a gruesome war in Kalinga, Ashoka embraced Buddhism and dedicated his life to peace and Dharma. Ashoka did not stop at conversion. He sent out envoys to spread Buddhism far and wide. His messages of peace, tolerance and welfare were inscribed on pillars and rocks throughout his kingdom, the edict standing even today as a testament to his enlightened rule. Following the Mauryan, another golden period in Indian history dawned under the Guptas. This era is aptly known as the Golden Age of India. The Gupta period saw unprecedented growth in arts, science and culture. This was the period when Aryabhata propounded the theory that the Earth moves around the Sun, a claim made centuries before Copernicus. And here's an amazing fact. The concept of zero and the decimal system were developed during the Gupta period. These mathematical advances revolutionized the field and became foundational principles for the development of mathematics and science globally. Moreover, the Gupta period saw the creation of classical Sanskrit literature, with luminaries like Kalidasa penning his timeless works. The art and architecture of this period, like the magnificent Ajanta and Ellora Caves, still leave us in awe of their aesthetic and architectural genius. From the robust governance of the Mauryas to the enlightened patronage of arts and sciences under the Guptas, these periods epitomize the zenith of ancient Indian civilization, a period that left an indelible mark on the course of world history. Beyond the towering empires and scientific advances, the heart of ancient India beats in its spiritual and philosophical insights. Insights that have illuminated minds for centuries and continue to resonate today. India, in many ways, is the spiritual and philosophical crucible of the world. From the lofty Himalayas to the serene banks of the Ganges, the quest for understanding life and beyond has been a part of this land's soul. The Upanishads, a collection of texts that emerged towards the end of the Vedic period, explored metaphysical ideas and questioned the very nature of reality. They introduced the concept of Brahman, the ultimate reality, and Atman, the individual soul. The Bhagavad Gita, a 700-verse text within the epic Mahabharata, presents a conversation between Prince Arjuna and Krishna. It discusses duty, righteousness, and the paths to spiritual liberation, making it one of the most important texts in Hindu philosophy. Around the same time, two other religions took birth in this spiritual cradle, Buddhism and Jainism. Gautama Buddha's teachings revolve around the idea of suffering, its causes, and the path to end it, encapsulated in the Four Noble Truths. Jainism, founded by Mahavira, places a strong emphasis on non-violence, ahimsa, truth, and asceticism. A little-known fact is that the principles of non-violence and civil disobedience so essential to India's freedom struggle were greatly influenced by Jain philosophy. Moreover, ancient India was also home to numerous philosophical schools known as the Shad Darshanas. These include systems of thought like Sankhya, Yoga, Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Mimamsa and Vedanta, each providing unique perspectives on reality, knowledge and liberation. From advanced urban planning to profound spiritual texts, from the birth of zero to concepts of democracy, ancient India was a world that sparkled with creativity and innovation. Our journey only scratches the surface of this grand civilization, but it reminds us that every step we take, every thought we conceive, might very well be echoing the wisdom and wonder of our ancient ancestors. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the rich tapestry of ancient India a civilization that continues to echo through the ages, shaping the world as we know it.